All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna be finishing up this top back area of the drill. And this is gonna be uh, super simple as well. So we're gonna to go to Create Sketch, select the 2D plane or background. And what I wanna do is use a two point rectangle to basically get one of these shapes of uh, the rectangle that we see here in the reference. So once you get the general shape, we can rotate it by double clicking any of the lines and right click, go to move slash copy. And let's just move this and rotate it by, let's say about negative 1.4. Let's hit OK. Now let's better match this up. Now we can double click any of these lines to uh, copy them or to select the entirety. Control C, Control V to copy paste it. And we'll just paste this down here. Right click, hit OK. Hit Control V to make another duplicate. And we'll bring it down somewhere around here. Now we can hit OK. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna hit finish sketch. And I'm gonna do a split uh, split face. I'm not gonna worry about this other end because I'm gonna create a create a uh, mirror and mirror it on the other end once I'm complete. So let's go to modify, split face, select the face we want to split, select our splitting tool, which will be this um, rectangle because we can't select more than one when we're doing split face. So we have our profile there, we'll press okay. Now we need to toggle back on this sketch. So hit the sketch drop down, scroll to the bottom and toggle that back on. And we can repeat that split face by right clicking and going up to repeat split face. Select both of our bodies here. Now for our splitting tool will be this rectangular line here. Hit OK and repeat for this section. So splitting tool will be this third rectangular box. Let's hit OK. Now we can toggle off this sketch because we no longer need it. And what I want to do is basically press pull this. So I'll select the surface. I'll see if it'll let me do these three at the same time. I doubt it, but we'll see. And it actually let me. I don't want to extend beyond this border. I just want to pull it up slightly. So I can hit OK. So now that this is complete with the horizontal lines, now we'll do the three vertical lines. So let's create a sketch. Select the 2D background. Use our two point rectangle and we'll draw a rectangular box going from top to bottom. Right click it OK. And we want to rotate these as well. So we'll double click to select the entire uh, rectangular shape. Right click, move says copy. And we'll rotate this over a bit. And I will do this by negative 1.3. Hit OK. And let's match this, these lines up a bit better with the reference. Now we have this, we can duplicate this. Control C, Control V. Right click, hit OK. Control V. Paste that as well. Now we can hit OK. Finish sketch. Now we're going to do the same thing we did previously. So we go to modify split face. I'll select this top line here. I'll see if they'll let me do the entire row here. I'll go to splitting tool. I'll use this first rectangular box. Hit OK. Go to the sketch, drop down, toggle back on that sketch. We need to use it again. 
I'm going to right click, go back up to split face. We'll select this half. And for the splitting tool will be this middle rectangular box. Hit OK. Right click, go up to split face again. And we'll choose this last section. Once that's complete, we'll hit OK. And we can toggle off this sketch because we no longer need it. And we can actually roll this back up. So what I now want to do is start to press pull these three rings. And I doubt that the, it may not let me do it at the same time. Uh, Fusion 360 is weird, so we'll try to do them at the same time. So once we have these, we can right click, press pull. And let's see if that will actually let us. It actually does, surprisingly. So this time we don't want to extend beyond this body. So once we have this, we can hit OK. Now this is all part of one body. So when we do a split faces, we're only splitting the face, not the body. So now we need to mirror this on the other end. And we can do this easily by going to um, modify split body, select the main body, and for the splitting tool will be this front face here in the right view, hit OK. Now if we toggle off our canvas we can see that it's been split down the middle and what we want to do is get rid of this half so we'll right click on the highlighted body which is body 5, go to remove, now we can go to create mirror and we want to mirror this body. And the mirror plane will be the same line we used to split. And we'll change it from join to new body. Because we want to do something in the next step, which is uh, create a seam that runs down the middle for the manufacturer seam. So everything looks good on the back end. Everything looks good on this end. And I think we are done so I'll catch you guys over in the next section.